There's never a shortage to spend money in the corrections area, but we're getting better at picking the things that really make a difference. And the one thing we all want is fewer people just strictly incarcerated and not having an opportunity to make a better life for themselves. The attitude of Idahoans about the value of these programs has gone way up from what it used to be. I think a lot of Idahoans realize that our approach to public safety has to be thoughtful and intentional and, and the notion that how quickly we can apprehend people is, is how we define public safety is just misguided. The reality is our communities are safer when people who would otherwise be involved in our system are able to be successful. These people that have had the misfortune of being incarcerated have gone out or now embedded in society and making a difference. So uh, I'm, I'm very optimistic about the pathway forward. But what we need to do is address every part of the food chain. People that are in the system, how do we put programs like this to help them get out? And then more importantly, how do we do things early? Here I am being trusted enough to, you know, get invited to ask a few questions and answer a few questions with the governor. It seemed like he really understood, that he really wanted to hear from us. This program actually changed my life. I've been in a treatment since 2018 in other programs. Nothing really worked. With this program, like everyone, they're so sweet and everyone's like so loving. Like they don't look at you as a statistic, they look at you as a person. And I think that that's why I'm so successful in this program. Before we didn't think felonies were ever going to be hired, especially on the application. That little question, are you a convicted felon? answering yes or no, a lot of us didn't want to answer that. But now we are able to answer that and be able to know that we do have that opportunity. My life since making this crucial decision to let the program and let everybody actually help me and actually know that when to ask for help, it's just been awesome. We have a blast that we actually take, uh, maybe it's one of those like MRT more or uh, uh, initial therapy. And it teaches you the tools to not reoffend. And it's honestly, it's been through through the help of having a really good pro officer and this solid program. I'm too busy to mess up. And I've just been so happy for the first time in my life. When the pandemic hit, we've, you know, we've made a lot of adjustments in how we conduct you know, our general duties of supervision, you know, leveraging things like Zoom and, and other technology. Zoom has been really beneficial. And so I recommend that to continue for everyone coming out of incarceration. Whether it's remote parole hearings, whether it's remote kind of check-ins on behavioral health, substance abuse, all of those are important and will make the system more efficient. If we can leverage technology to where the very best and the most important part of personal intervention is available for the most needy, then it spreads those professionals to a, a much bigger audience. We had to take precautions. We had to change how we operated, uh, but not providing those same services simply wasn't an option. You have to take that deep look into yourself and realize that you could be so much better and you have to want to be better. And if you can't, then you know what, stay in prison. If I put a dollar into corrections and stops recidivism and change people's lives, that's a dollar that's gonna pay off for years. Giving people hope, honestly, is, is key. When I was in ISCC, those vocational classes they offer there, I took every single one of them and I completed every single one of them. And that gave me hope that every time I went back to myself, I had a purpose. And I now have a purpose. I set the path to where I'm at now. The most gratifying thing to me is when I first started, this was a hard sell. You guys are selling this. You are the evidence that the programs that they're working and thank you for taking the initiative to make your lives and your families better.